doesn't it? Yeah, you can say that together. <laughs> Daddy, I marvel at the strength in your backhand, even at your age. Ooh. 61 is no old age. I would have played professional tennis and won Wimbledon at my age. Your father is like the proverbial saying, the older the wine, the better he is. But come to think of it, my daughters play good tennis too. Susan, Daddy. Serena Williams would have been jealous over your, your drop shots. <laughs> uh, how come nobody's saying anything about my backhands and passing shots? Do I detect a whiff of um, some envy and jealousy here? <laughs> Nanny, tell me, why would I be jealous of someone I can trash any time, any day? Any Just day? stop that right now. You stop that right now. Competition is healthy, but jibes and barbs are deadly. Both of you must take care of that. Must note that. Have I made myself clear? Daddy, we're only kidding. We're just kidding. Well, I think we better be going. Your mother will be jealous of us and will be looking forward to meeting us. So that we can celebrate your deaths with pomp and pageantry. That is if you live longer than myself, my dear. Oh, we we'll have a whole lifetime to find out, my love. <laughs> That's a morbid thing to discuss at this table, Mom. Uh, what is so morbid about discussing the realities of life? Whether we are discussing life or death, what is important to me now is that this meal is well cooked and I am enjoying myself. <laughs> Tell me, which one of you prepared it? We both did. Now you're on, I'm saying. That is mm -hmm. the spirit. What spirit that? Ah, the spirit of togetherness, my dear. Cooperation will solve many problems. Even freckles would have nice time if they ever agreed to come together. Where do you get all this idea from? Well, if you took your time to study and read, you would know. But well, really, talking at the table the way you're doing now is dangerous. Especially when Pepe is involved. <coughs>
You all look like people going to be sent to the guillotine. We are wondering what the meeting is all about. Is there anything wrong in me asking members of my family to come and see me for a meeting? Well, you just saw all of us at the dining. <sighs> Where you prophesied that if we continue to expand the theories where we are eating, that the pepper will take a better part of us. And almost immediately, your prophecy came to pass. My family, we all have collectively made a success of our lives, our business, and this family. The successes that we have achieved couldn't have been achieved if we fought individual battles. A broomstick stands no chance against a man who is determined to break it. But when it calls on other broomstick and they form a bunch, they become unbreakable. Yadi, yeah, I still don't get the moral in all this. I am talking about unity. You are in charge of AWSL and your sister is in charge of Igwe Buike and the partners. Both companies are doing excellently well. But I have seen that it is time for us to go into uncharted waters. What kind of uncharted waters? Oil. 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 Exploration. I have had this on my cards for the past five years, and now that a load of oil deposits have been found in a number of states, it is time for us to take our own share. You mean you want to start oil exploration in a number of states? Yes, if you say so. But isn't it too risky? You have never ventured into such business before. My dear, there is always a first time. You just mentioned now that our family businesses are doing extremely well. So why risk everything in pursuit of this hair brain venture? Hair brain? Yes, that's what it is right now. I agree that oil has made a lot of men. But let us not forget that it has sent so many to their early graves. My dear, there is always an element of risk in any business. The greater the element of risk, the bigger the success when it is achieved. The simple balance of no venture, no success still rules. I, I don't even plan of dying young. Well, obviously, Daddy, you've made up your mind and you're not here to seek our approval, so what's the next step? Well, I'll be traveling to Texas tomorrow via Abuja. When are you... How long are you staying? Two weeks. Three weeks at most. Well, Daddy, the general board meeting of AWSL comes up in ten days. You are there, aren't you? Daddy, you are the chairman of the board. And you are the managing director of the board. Assume my powers. Assume your powers? With all those sharks siding under the table waiting to cut me at the middle? Listen, my dear. There is no faster way of learning the ropes of boardroom politics other than being part of it. Make your stance. Stand firm. Look at them in the eyes without flinching. And when you take a decision, never renege on it whether you are right or wrong. The 
being kept waiting at the reception for over 30 minutes is something I don't really appreciate. I'm very sorry, sweetheart. Well, it's this board meeting that is coming up, and um, I have never chaired any of those kind of meetings alone before, so... Um, the very thought of it scares me to death. So, I have been up with my staff, making sure everything is in order, you know. Okay. Are you handling this on your own? Yeah. What about your dad? I thought I told you he traveled to the States. Oh, really? Um, so, chin up, girl. Your father believes in you and so do I. How come everyone believes so much in me when I can't seem to get a firm grip on anything? You actually have a way of having a firm grip on so many things without realizing you do. I do? Of course you do. Mm, like, like what? Like my heart for starters. <laughs> you say the sweetest things. I do. Oh yes, you do. Well, before we get carried away and forget we're in your office, I actually came to find out if I can have the pleasure of taking you out to lunch. Okay. Okay. Good. So, I'll be back for 2 p.m. Sweetie, can we meet like 2.30? No, not 2. We'll be fine. All right? Good luck. Good luck. No, but it's true. I mean, didn't you see the number of men, you know, developing a public in the moment you walked in? Hmm. Dad, I am no more beautiful than any other young girl you see here. Is that what you think? Yes. Then you need your head examined, my darling. Because I have the privilege of sitting next to the most beautiful woman in this town. Stop flattering me. I'm not flattering you. I only make statements of fact. Well, it is only also a fact that you brought me here to feed me, not to flatter me. Yes, and speaking about um, eating and feeding, if the waiter doesn't come around this table in the next few minutes. I'll just order ketchup and pour it all over you and eat you all up. Greg, <laughs> please stop. I, I still have to get back to the office, so stop giving me ideas, right? And when have my ideas worked with you? Well, I promised my dad I was going to be a good girl till I get married. <laughs> you know, that's why I love you so much. Because um, it's hard to find a lady, you know, from your kind of background in this age and time who holds on to the values you hold on to so dear. My background. Actually, that humbles me. You know, I could have easily been um, a daughter to one papa in Ajegule. But you're not. <laughs> yes, I'm not. I kind of like that. <laughs> but that humbles me. You no. Know, I can't wait for you to go to work mm -hmm. and come back home to me. This is so unlike that. I'm really worried. This is so unlike him not to have called. I hope he didn't forget to put his phone on Romy. That would be very much unlike your father. He would have called us. Are you still worried about daddy? Yes, no. Come on, you know how the old man is. He's full of surprises. But I suspect he's up to something. Yes, because he just comes up with this tale of exploration and off he is to America. Viv, you should know that we're living in a man's world. Whatever your daddy has decided to do, he does very well. I'm still worried, but you need not to be, my dear. Come on, mom. It's so unlike that to remain in communicado till now. Ah, well, it's true. But I think all your daddy needs now is prayers for us. Bring it this break 
breaking news. An international flight belonging to Phase 5 International Airlines has been reported missing over the Alps. The origin of this airline has not been determined yet, as frantic search for the airplane, a Boeing 757, has commenced. We will keep you posted as developments unfold. I don't suffer much more. And it's phase five, mommy. Phase five? Um, mommy, there's a phase five airline missing. Phase five? That, that's all. No destination. No, it's just missing. Don't know. Yet. Are you sure? Do I look deaf or dumb? No, no, no. This is not the right time to fight. Please. This is crazy. How can they put all the whole families who are making use of phase five aircrafts on edge like this? This is irresponsible of them. Uh, what is the TV on? There could be more news. This is an update on the missing phase five airliner. The plane which disappeared in the early hours of this morning has been identified as originating from Abuja, Nigeria and was headed for the O'Hara Airport to Chicago. It had a full load of passengers and the frantic search has commenced on the mountain terrain where it was reported missing from the radar. The Moroccan towers have reported no distress calls yet. We will keep you updated. Oh my God, I'm sure my husband is not on that flight. Help me. I'm sure the plane will be found in good condition. Amen. Uh, Viv, let's pray. Mommy, let's pray. Let's pray. Please tell me what is going on. Just came through and seen What just came through? We crashed. Sir. You don't think there are any survivors? Did they, did they call his name? Is, is the manifest out? Manifest is not ready. is not lost yet. I know they will find survivors and I also know your dad will be amongst them. Daddy can't be on that flight. He hasn't finished his works, his charity works. I know God will not allow that. I'm, I'm so confused. What am I going to do? It's okay. Everything will be fine. Trust me. Trust me. Susan? Uncle Frank? Huh? Why are you crying? Well, haven't you... Haven't you heard about the, the, the crash? What? As a matter of fact, I have. That is precisely why I'm here. So, where is everybody? They're at the back. Okay, at the back. 
then wipe your tears. Mm -hmm. Wipe your tears, son. Let's go there. Good day, sir. Good day, my dear. How are you? How are you? Susan, there may not be any need for you to go to Abuja anymore. I have already done that. Frank, why are they not saying anything? Why are they keeping us in suspense? Why is the manifest not yet published? It has been published. Ah. Yes. And uh, your husband's name was on it. Yes. Mommy! They, they, they haven't found all the bodies yet, but it's obvious no. they lost no. everything. I'm afraid we lost him. No. <laughs> She will grow old with me. And I've not taken that promise back. Let's do it gradually. You see, our enemy's opinion about us might be right. Um, sometimes. It is usually most times. They see us, we don't see ourselves. But remember that opinions are as a result of emotions rather than intellectual analysis. I'm getting confused. Don't be. You know, I have always preached the concept of togetherness. And you may know that as I sit here, we might not see eye to eye, but we must walk hand in hand. They're beginning to sound like the Lord Jesus Christ who always spoke in parables. Oh, oh be dear. To those whose eyes were not open, so that seeing they could not see, and hearing they could not understand. But to them that were with him, he said, It is given unto you to understand the things of my kingdom. Obi oh, dear, I can as well say the same thing to you. And like his disciples, I ask, what is the meaning of those words? You see, when two dogs are fighting for a bone, the third dog that is watching is the one that eats that bone. Sleep well. I have other things to take care of. Tonight. Take care of. Yes. Sleep well.
Mm, I don't know what to do. He talked about He talked about it. He talked about it. And I thought he was talking about his truth. I did not know that he was talking about his death. God. If I had known, I wouldn't have let him travel. I wouldn't have. <laughs> what is this that I have just done? You see, what happened? Where is my brother? Oh, where is the one that shelters me from the rain? Oh, oh my God, my brother is... Esther, where is my brother? <laughs> oh, DK! <laughs> my brother. Oh, DK. <laughs> You wanted to die, you did not see the whole of Nigeria to die in. Oh, my brother. Why do you have to go to a foreign land to die? Oh. Ah, I am finished. Ah, I am finished. Yeah. <laughs> DK, is that why you came? You could have just sent for me. Who am I to ask you to come around? Hey, my brother. This is your house. You can do as you wish. Mm. Togetherness is the key to solving family problems. True word. I must say that I'm one of the blessed men in this world. For God has given me the best of life. Mm. <laughs> I, I have a family that I truly love. I look at my wives and I feel blessed. I look at my daughters and I feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. I look at you. Don't even go there. How can you say you're really fulfilled when there's no one to carry on your name? Oh. My children will carry on my name. Women, tell me, where in Igbo land have you heard that women succeed men? Uh, I, I have great respect for the tradition of the Igbo man, but uh, I no longer count myself as an Igbo man. I live here now, not in the village. Maybe my daughters may choose to live somewhere else. If they say they are going to Australia, Will tradition follow them there? Well said. But take a look at your empire and tell me what you see. What do you mean, what I see? An empire that is the, the envy of all. But there won't be anyone to light the family tree when the candle goes off. Nobody? Except rules, of course. Your daughters will get married and go away. Who will then carry on our father's name in Gubeke? Well, when you have done your bid, you don't question the Almighty over things you have no answers to. This one has an answer. You could have married another wife and looked for a son. My sister, ten years into the marriage, with Christy, we could not have an issue. I married Esther because I wanted a child. Three years into that marriage, Vivian came through Esther. Susan miraculously came through Christy, and that was all. Because you wanted it so. Wrong. What did we not do to have other children? No amount of orthodox or unorthodox medicine could make them conceive again. And who told you it was fun anyway having two women? So I didn't want to, to, to gamble with it, Ted. 
if, if that was the price to pay for an heir, it was well worth it. Ah, forget it. It's too late now anyway. I, I might have been blessed by God in business, but dealing with women was certainly not my calling. Very soon, those who have left us behind will call us home. What one should be thinking about is for those who he is going to leave behind. It is not yet time for you to start talking like that. Uh, one should start preparing for those he is going to leave behind. Anyway, life is like cutting grass. When it rests, sometimes the ghost comes and carries it away. Let me go and have a rest. I have a lot to do tomorrow. Sleep well, my sister. <laughs> it is well, my brother. Thank you. I didn't know my brother was telling me goodbye. Oh, DK. What did we do to you that you let us out and just took the fire from us? What have we done? <laughs> oh, DK. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Even with months of inactivity, I can still beat you, child. Why are you talking as if we didn't spend 18 days in the village? Well, you can enjoy your bloated ego if it makes you happy. If you're that good in everything, how come I'm better in business? What did you just say? What just came out of your mouth? You heard me the first time. I am head, chief executive officer, and chairman of the board of the biggest shipping line in Nigeria. You will regret every single word that just came out of your mouth. I promise you. Please. Viv, I didn't mean it. Viv! Viv! I didn't mean it! This used to be home. People in circumstances are different. So, how are you carrying today? Aside from the death of my father, I'm doing well, thank you. I understand how you feel, okay? But that's the more reason why I had to come back all the way from the States, just to be by your side. Chicken, are we forgetting something here? Are we forgetting how you humiliated me over the phone? Why? Because I dared to mention marriage. See, like I said before, I understand how you feel. I'm sorry. But I thought you realize that despite the life I live outside Niger, I'm a traditional man to the core. I mean, I just wanted to be the one to ask. See, honey, I'm sorry. And I promise you that it will never repeat itself again. Just find it a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. Please, I beg you, marry me. Please. You see, when you read, you broaden your mind and you learn new words. And you know, words are the pegs on which ideas are hung. Mm, that's a nice one. I keep that in mind. Do you know, I am very proud to see that my first daughter is blossoming. Ah, all thanks to you, Daddy. I have not started with you yet. You know, responsibility increases with maturity. And as my first daughter, there is still quite a lot you have to do. Daddy, honestly, truly, 
I'd rather be in court shouting. That's what I was trained to do. But you don't win cases by shouting. But tell me, are you not satisfied where you are? Daddy, you've always known me to speak my mind. I still don't get why you gave Susan the ship and firm to run. Do, do I detect a tone of resentment in your voice? Daddy, you said to so yourself, I am the older one. And I should get ready for greater challenges and bigger responsibilities. That shipping firm is worth over 12.57 billion. Yes, but we don't own all the shares. We own 53%. And yes. that is still over 6.8 billion naira. Yes. Yes, but you know, Daddy, the estate firm, Igwebeke and Partners, it's just what? 1.85 billion? Yes, we own 85%, but it is not doing badly. Daddy, that's just 1.5 billion naira. It's in the, that, is, that is not a meager sum when you think of how businesses are crumbling now. And I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not questioning that at all. I just don't see why I should be running the lesser firm and Susan running the conglomerate. Vivian. That is not the type of question that should come from a team leader. Daddy, a perfect team consists of good players in good positions that best suits their talent. Right. Well, I am the older one. I am three months older than Susan. I should be at the head, not at the tail somewhere wearing the stock. Vivian, it is as simple as the fact that AWSL is an older conglomerate. 15 years older than Igwe Buike and the partners, to be precise. A, a more responsible person was needed to build up the Borden company. What do you mean? You see, you have age and experience over Susan. And of the two companies, AWSL has come to stay. Igwe Buike and partners needed prompting, and I found you a right to, to, to do it. And remember that both of you represent your mothers on the respective boards. How? Her mother was my first wife. And AWSA was my first breakthrough. And right from the beginning, she was there. Daddy, that is denying me my birthright. No, my dear. Whatever is yours can never be taken away from you. And remember, as my first daughter, you still have quite a lot to do. Remember that it is not who does what, but how well it is done. You remember the story of the Tower of Babel? That when people who have one voice work together to achieve one goal, nothing is impossible. I want you remember that whether I am here or not have I made myself clear Vivian 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 hmm? what are you thinking about sorry dear I just can't get over the fact that my dad would let my younger sister run the shipping firm. What? AWSL is worth 12.57 billion naira on the Brussels Stock Exchange. And how do you know that? I... Why, would he... Why the hell would he do anything like that? I don't know. And like that's not bad enough. The stupid girl has become more arrogant and insulting. Come on, baby. Come on. Please, I know, baby. I guess what I want. Of course, I know that. I mean, you are the first daughter. No one is disputing that fact, okay? But I think Atlantic Way shipping line should be under your control. This is exactly my point. Now, the only reason she's there in the first place is because my dad felt, you know, since it's already an established company, he doesn't need a hand as strong as mine to run it. I could understand that crap. But now that the old man is gone, instead of her to be a team player, she wants to consolidate her position on the board of AWSL as chairman. She's already rubbed that in my face. 
I'm determined to stop her. Exactly. I mean, we really have to do something immediately before it gets so bad. Yes. point of view. I think it's time we saw the wheel. You know, so everybody knows her true position in this family. And you think you're in the right position to do that? Vivian, why do you want to cause commotion in this family? Well, anybody who's afraid of confrontation never amounts to anything in this life. Vivian, Christy is the head of this family now. And she is in the right position to bring it up. Since she's shying away from her responsibility because her daughter is sitting pretty, then, you know, I have every goddamn right to bring it up. After all, I am the first daughter. You don't sound as if it just occurred to you. No, actually, I've been thinking about it for a while. And to top it up, Susan dared to boast about sitting on Atlantic at the tennis court yesterday. So, you know, I think we should actually see the wheel so we know who is sitting on what. Vivian, I am not comfortable with this. I'm not comfortable with it at all. We are living together like family the way your father would have wanted it. No matter what, your father must have provided for everybody generously. Why is there trouble? <sighs> Mommy, I know what I am doing. Listen, Daddy is dead and gone. We only have ourselves to look out for us now. Besides, they have been unusually quiet. Who knows what they're up to? Vivian, your father would be very disappointed with that statement. Perhaps. But I have no apologies. Susan, did you have any arguments with Vivian? Not really, mommy, but um, lately she has been trying to push it down my throat that she's older. At every point she tries to make me look small and stupid. <laughs> she has always been like that. I think it's only a sibling uh, rivalry. And if it is, I don't think there is anything wrong with that. But the most surprising thing is that barely two months after your father's death, she is asking to see the will. It is not only ridiculous, but provocative. Mom, I don't want to say this, but I think we should be a little bit more careful of Vivian these days. Mm, 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 mm. Don't think like that of your own sister. Your father would have been disappointed for you to have ever thought of such a thing in your heart. I, I don't want to think this way, but I'm being forced to. Somehow, I don't think she likes the idea that I'm the one managing uh, Atlantic Wave shipping line. But she is the one managing the property business. <laughs> Mom, I think we both know that AWXL is bigger. And she doesn't like that. Maybe we should indulge her. Or even at that, your father wouldn't have allowed her to be in charge of AWXL even if he were to be alive. So, it shouldn't bother you, my dear. <laughs> Uh, I must confess, I never believed that uh, you would make this call this early. Considering the type of love this family has always exhibited. But all the same, it is good you called early. You see, I have been your husband's and father's attorney all these 29 years. And I'm most qualified to execute his wishes. Assuming there were no specific instructions. Yeah. Let me ask you, my dear. By all intents and purposes, unless otherwise proven, you are the head of this family. Are you in support of this move? I am not the one who has asked to see the will. Okay. As far as I am concerned, I would have preferred everything to be left the way it is now. Yeah. Because the way things are favors you and your daughter. It is obvious that Vivian is not happy with his status quo. 
If I have learned anything from my late husband, it is that we should all have a sense of belonging in the family. But if saying the will will make her happy, then let's all say the will. Well, I have specific instructions. You see, Chief D.K. Ibuibike's will can neither be executed nor be read now until after 12 months of his death. Twelve months, my dear. That is your father's instruction. He may have had his reasons, but he didn't tell me anything. Is that all? Yes, for now. Uh, except that he set aside the sum of five million naira in my care to be disbursed to the mm. family as the need arises. And that is through his first wife, Christine. Five million naira. Yes, of course. Five million naira. Very well then. We've got to be on our way. Everything will seem pretty soon. Okay? Well, that will take care of things. Um, now your sister knows that the testament cannot be executed until the next 12 months, I guess. She will have to cool down a little. Personally, Gregor, I have made up my mind about this. Even if she wants to make trouble, I will not give up what my dad placed in my care. I won't do that. You people should tread carefully. You see, to build something is quite difficult. But to destroy that same thing is the easiest thing to do. You people are on the verge of destroying everything your father labored so hard to build. So that I know you will not come to that. No, I have, I have this positive feeling that um, we're going to settle our differences. I'm incapable. Feel it. I'll keep praying for you. Of course you know that. Uh, I'll keep standing by you and be reminded that I love you. I love you too, baby. Miss Casey, you be gone? Yes. What is this? It's a court order. Court order? For what? I don't know. If you're quoting 1 Corinthians 3, 8 to 9, you left this out. Yet, they will be individually rewarded according to their works. Vivian, if you don't like cooperation, just imagine what happens to a car when it loses one of its tires. I've got my own ideas, thank you. Not the one that will endanger the family tree. All our strength is in unity. Because there is danger and chaos in this cult, said Henry Wentworth. That has always been your, family, your father's speech every day when he nurtured this great family. Still, one should not limit the ideas to a cocoon all in the name of togetherness. Not quite three months after your father's death, you got a cut order restraining your own sister from carrying out her due diligence. A cut order? Yes, my dear. And I take it, Esther, that you and your daughter wants to destroy this family just because she wants to control AWSL. I take exception to that, Christine. Vivian here is old enough to take her own decisions. So who are we kidding here? Who are we kidding? Why are we eating together? <coughs> Mom, you're dining with devils. 
years. I'm going to help from all I can. Darling, your father just died. Which is the more reason why my sister's option is most reprehensible. But the fact remains she is still your sister. Huh? With a sister like her, who makes an enemy? Okay. What do you want? Simple. I want court injunction. Restraining all arm of Igwebike's group. Restraining every form of withdrawal. And placing every member of the, the board on, um, including the CEO, on a temporary um, spectatorship till my father's will is read. It is that simple. That's a tall order, you know. Greg, this is what I want. I, I, I want to know how you want to go about it. And tell me, I'll issue the check. I'm sure you want to do this. All the way there. All the way. Since you came back from the burial in the village, you have seen us. Um, but um, you left rather too too early. Yeah, I, for a, a burial of uh, of a man or of decay's caliber, everybody, different people from different walks of life, started trooping in after you people have gone, Auntie. With all those hawks who call themselves his king's men, hovering to feather their nests in the midst of our grief, I had no other option than to leave back to base or losing up. I see. Um, Christiana, this year your war with the other party, they shot the first salvo, Auntie. I will not sit idly by and watch what I and my husband has labored for sleep away. Exactly where I am going. You are the first wife, Christy. Oh. My brother was a great man. Admit it. But show me a successful man without a great woman prodding him and I will show you a traitor. Auntie. You needed to have seen the way Vivian insulted mommy. Hmm? As if they were meat to fear. Ah. Is she not afraid? Where was she when your mother and DK started from ground level? In fact, I haven't really asked her. I will when the time comes. You must ask her every time. If she is stupid and rude enough to step out of line, you have to knock her back. The matter has gone beyond that. In fact, the case is now in court. Hmm? Uh, um, in, um, you know my, my financial status. I just thought I would come and uh, <laughs> have a little talk with you. You don't have to bother yourself about that, Auntie. I'll surely see what I can do. Eh? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. You're welcome, Auntie. Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there's a problem here. Auntie. That is how Christy and her daughter wanted it to. How? You know, Vivian is the first daughter of this family. But of course. Good afternoon. Afternoon, my dear. So how come Susan wants to chair the company? Uh, but 
It's not supposed to be like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Vivian is the first daughter. Yes. Is it not her luck that brought this Susan when her mother almost rendered my, my brother childless? Auntie, ask me. Esther. Ma? You should never allow the first to become the last. Auntie. Will you support my daughter and I in this struggle? That is why I am here. Vivian is the first daughter. And she will never be relegated to the back as long as I live. Thank you, ma. Don't thank me. Thank truth, which I represent and which must prevail. Thank you very much, ma. Um... It's, it's, uh, it's just that um, I'm in urgent need of, of money. But I, I can't begin to ask you now. Hmm? Auntie, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, my dear. You're thank welcome. You. Mm -hmm. Your sister is absolutely right. So what if she's right? Ah, you can turn a new leaf. See, Zeke had kids at 80 and beyond. You want to count me with the same fiber like that great man? Why not? See, whatever Zeke achieved politically, you more than achieved financially. Frank. Don't let those words come out of the four corners of this house. <laughs> you see, the case, we have been classmates, went through the same university, we've maintained our friendship, even when you had shot thousands of miles ahead of me on the financial scale. Frank, just keep that. Get to the point. Okay, the point is that Solomon, had 700 legitimate wives. And uh, who was Solomon? Mm. The wisest man ever. Oh, Solomon was the wisest man, eh? Of course. Yet, he, he, he couldn't do the simplest things that his obviously wise father did. Which were? Keeping God's standards. <laughs> Well, I know that both David and Solomon notoriously sinned. Frank, I rest my case. No, no, no. Talking seriously, I, I want... Look, Frank. If you are talking about my sister's opinion, forget it. I have sinned against the church when I challenged God for children. And in that process, he, he showed me why he is omnipotent. I am not ready to challenge him for any child again. So how do you mean? That I should count my blessings. Why should I bother myself about a male child when I know that there are fathers there who could not father any children? Okay, I, I can't understand you again. Like, what is happening? Uh, Frank, 
You have been my attorney for so many years, I can't remember. Mm. 29 years. That short? I think. I want you to enforce some rules. Enforce rules? Call it principles if you like. Mm. Great news. Frank, when I am gone, my family must realize the power of the Creator in whatever they do. They must not claim the glory because God giveth all things. Dicky, what exactly do you want me to do? Frank, I want us to discuss my will. Your will? Where did you keep your sense of decorum? How dare you barge into my office like that? In war, there is nothing like decency. Huh. Well, this is no Iraq. That's what you think. You are sitting pretty, sitting on my father's money while I go about begging for food. What the hell are you talking about? I need some money. <laughs> I don't see how I can help you. Didn't you say my father set aside five million for us? Okay. That one. Well, it has specific instructions on how to dispose it for family members through his first wife, Christy, and her alone. Excuse me, I do not need her permission to take what belongs to me. Okay. Besides, it's her and her daughter who froze the Igwe Bike group's account, not me. Froze account? Everything, pending our filing in court. Jesus. Come. What are you people turning this beautiful empire into? What? I told you you had more than Iraq under your belt. The man I knew for over 40 years would be crying profusely in the grave or noticing that the family he had labored all through his life to build, love and die for has completely disintegrated barely two months after his untimely demise. Bravo to all of you. How could you have plunged the whole Ibebike group to a halt? How could you? Ask her! She blew the whistle first. I see. What about her daughter who does not have respect? It is you who has no respect. This woman sitting here built and nurtured this empire 11 years before your unfortunate coming. Oh. Are you insane? I mean, are you insane? How dare you speak to my mother like that? It's okay for you to talk to my mother like that. Stop, 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 how can one stop in the face of these greedy monsters? You call me a monster? Esther, Christy, that is what you are. I mean, how could you have frozen every Ibuebike account? It is your envious daughter who couldn't respect daddy's wishes that first ran to court because she had one useless wit to flaunt. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold it, hold it. Did you, did you say useless week? No, did I hear you call the week useless? Oh, Frank, I'm sorry. But hers is useless. If all she could get was an injunction to stop me from sitting on the board of AWS until daddy's will is wrecked. Oh! Serves you right. So why are you crying? No. Hmm? Why are you crying? You and your mother didn't steal enough to last you 12 months? Ooh. Watch your mouth! Abomination. Where are you, God? Where are you? 
How can a lion give back to a hapless sheep? How can? How could a man of peace and candor have labored all through his life to raise a useless bunch? If I knew this is what I was going to see, I wouldn't have accepted this unwholesome task in the first place. I wouldn't have. Terrible. We all see what you have done now. Hmm? All of you. Have you seen what you have done? Hey. Let me tell you this. Nobody can have a handshake with a clenched fist. Nobody. You all crossed the Rubicon. And you, Vivian, you blew your top so much by going to court first. Your dad kept her there, remember? Can she respect that? When an ordinary oral instruction is difficult for her to understand. I did not ask for your opinion. Thank you. <laughs> that is how insolent she has become. Because daddy wanted her to cut her teeth while I nurtured a young company to stardom. Neither did I ask for that rudeness from you. <laughs> Christy. Now listen. You all will have to see me in my office tomorrow by 10 a.m. All of you. Good day. You, one day, one day I will show you. Why not? Show her what? I will show you. Show her! 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 Show
as a husband and as father. If you knew, you would have understood that that great man was never a practicing diplomat. He once told me that a diplomat would keep his shirt on while taking something out of his chest. Diplomacy is the act of jumping into a troubled water without making a splash. And every successful man and woman on earth must have some degree of diplomacy. When a diplomat says yes, it means perhaps. And when he says perhaps, it means no. And when he says no, there's no more diplomat. It's very evident that you don't have diplomacy. Because if you have, all these things you are tackling would have been dead and buried long enough without firing a shot. But now, you have expended a large amount of ammunition. I wonder, I wonder how you would make amendments. Well, they had no right, legal or otherwise, to freeze Igwe BK Group's account. And who are you to interfere with Daddy's instructions? You see, you are still there. Just there. Tact is the act of thinking twice before saying nothing. Anyway, I represent DK's interests and not the interests of his companies. You all here know that each of the groups has an attorney employed by the board. So I do not have any right to interfere with your injunctions. Only on the level of advisory. And that is why I am saying that you must withdraw those injunctions. How? Good. When you agree with me, I'll tell you how. Let them withdraw from prison their accounts. You went to court first. Why don't you withdraw yours? Never. I'm not okay. Let's meet in court. You see? You. In view of the matter in question. Considering that over 200 workers are at risk of being stranded if their salaries are not paid, I forward a passionate plea for a speedy hearing. Prosecuting counsel, are you in tandem uh, with the plea of the respondent? My lord, as long as we tread on tracks that wouldn't jeopardize due legal process and precision, why not? Very well. Court clerk. Give me a date for next week. Send it to me at the chambers. Meanwhile, I rise. God! Why are we fighting each other? Trying to destroy one oh, man. another. Is it really worth it when we're fighting for? How can we throw away the peace, love? Yes, good evening. How may I help you? I believe you do know who I am. Not exactly. Well, in our case, I think that introductions are necessary. I'm GK Vivian's fiancé from the States. Well, I've come to see you concerning what's going on. What's going on? I don't understand. Don't play smart with me, Mr. Man. What I'm about to say right now is to your mutual benefit. Go on, I'm listening. I think you should know this. There's too much money here. Now, if we do not handle things carefully, I mean, you and I will eventually lose out of this. And I know you, Mr. Greg, you wouldn't want that to happen. So all I'm suggesting is, you talk to your girl while I talk to mine. I mean, you guys, you just threw away the case. If you get what I mean, kick the case away. If AWSL, I mean, a W L calls into my girl's hand. I promise you that we shall say to you guys with a cash balance of 200 million naira. Listen, I don't know what kind of hold you have 
over your fiance. But you see, I don't have that kind of hold over Susan. I mean, besides, this is a family issue and I don't meddle into matters that concern families I don't belong to yet. Come off it, Mr. Craig. Don't try to play a hero here. I believe very well you are in this for the money as well. Everybody has a price tag, which I know very well that you have yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, I get that. If 200 million naira is too small for you guys, we can talk it over here. That's the more reason why I had to come over to your house to see you. Listen, GK, I love my girlfriend. And if things work out well between us, we would get married soon. For reminders, I am not getting married to her because of her money. So to cut a long story short, I'm not interested in your proposal. As you can see, I was reading my law books before you came in. And that makes me a very busy man. So please, if you don't mind, you may leave my house. Did I hear you right? I mean, did you just ask me to leave your house? Whoa! Bravo! I must really say that I compliment on your guts. But I want to assure you something. That this is one case. I mean, read my lips. That this is one case you will never win. Because I will stick to that. Oh, yes. The door. family would employ. Vivian shot first. You want me to, to drop dead? I haven't said that either. Craig, what are you saying? There are many other ways to drive home your rights without involving the lawsuit. What other way? Dialogue. Yes. I mean, your father's attorney and executor, Frank Ononiwu, is a well-respected senior advocate of Nigeria. Now, with him and a little sanity amongst you, this case will be out of court in a matter of days. You think I really advocate you to this noble line. You think uh, Uncle Frank hasn't tried? Then why hasn't he succeeded? Uh, maybe you should go with me, you know, to my house and ask Vivian. Better still ask her mother. Baby, in a quarrel of two, only one is enough to initiate a peaceful settlement. Greg, for a lawyer who is supposed to be rejoicing at the prospect of a public case, a case of a lifetime, you are certainly disappointing the legal profession. That is where you go wrong, my darling. That's where you go wrong, my darling. Okay. It is unprofessional conduct for a lawyer to prefer advice to bring to a lawsuit, except in rare cases where ties of blood relationship and trust may deem it necessary. Except in... Hold on. It further says that fermenting strife and instigating litigation is unprofessional conduct. Maybe you still do not... Darling, I made a first class in law and I vowed an hour after my call to this profession with every norm and respect for this noble source of livelihood. You just said 
except in, in rare cases of um, blood relationship and trust. And... Greg, what are you saying? Are you saying none applies here? Of course they do. Even if you don't think so, I am the one instigating litigation here, not you. But it's still in my line of duty to draw you closer to the doorsteps of caution, my darling. Greg, I, I understand what you're trying to do. Believe me, I do. But coincidentally, you do not know a thing about the sister I have. My lord, the court says newspaper comments by a lawyer on pending or anticipated litigation may interfere with a fair trial in court, otherwise prejudice the due administration of justice. That's perfectly in line. My lord, if you read through carefully, you would see for yourself. But for the purpose of this court, let me quote a very vital part. The case is as good as won. If fairness is employed in the hearing court, Susan is my younger sister who I personally put in charge. She has no choice but to step down or better still, step aside whenever I indicate interest to step in. End of quote. My lord, I find this unprofessional diversion and undue interference. Objection, your honor. Objection overruled. My lord, in view of our earlier resolve for a speedy hearing, we, I mean my clients and I, are skipping technicalities for now. That's quite thoughtful of you. I must comment. Thank you, my lord. My lord, my client, Miss Susan D.K. Igwebike, though young, is a very vibrant woman, elegant, intelligent, and I must add, a woman of true valor. These were the virtues which endeared her to a most loving father before he put her in charge of a 12.57 billion naira outfit. Objection, Your Honor. Objection overruled. Go on. My lord, if the respondent, a learned colleague of mine in all ramification, is so confident of her father's trust, then why is she so much in a hurry to transcend the wishes of this most honorable man when she knows that it will take a mere nine months for this man's will to come to fall? Objection, Your Honor. The primary issue at hand is how to restore the frozen account in view of the fact that over 200 men might be in danger. Your Honor, these people have families and obligations. I will happily welcome their monthly salaries. My Lord, these cases are interwoven. There is no way we would mention one without mentioning the other. In going for the effects, we will get to the cause. Besides, there is no worker in Atlantic Waves shipping line, AWSL, that will claim that he or she hasn't been paid as at when due till date. And by grand design and plan, will continue to be paid as at when due, even if this case lasts for the next 36 months. That's impossible. Counsel. May I remind you that there is due process in this court. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Please go on. Your Honor, I raise an objection. Objection overruled. Why are we fighting each other? Trying to destroy one another. Is it really worth it when we're fighting for? So you were in court, were you? And so were you. How come Susan had access to funds to pay the workers at Atlantic and I do not for Igwe Big group? How the hell do you think I should know that? And how in heaven was she supposed to have accomplished that without your help? You know what your problem is? Lack of legal practice. 
You see, you're moving straight to your father's business and so much obliterated your, your primary constituency, which is the legal profession. Whatever. I am defending myself in court. Mm, you call that defense? Wait till you hear the verdict. Ah, oh, don't be fooled by what went on in there. The case has barely started. All right. Susan thinks she's smart, doesn't she? She thinks she can turn this around. Well, I'm not here to play either. You see, your problem is having overtly underrated your sister. Look, your father was no man to have made mistakes. Please, little Kel, drop your litigations and respect his wishes. Wait for his will. I will not. I will do no such thing. Then keep me out of it. I have no hands in your sister's superior managerial skills. Take your agros to the court. There's this other little matter. Your father has been And which is? Family of kids. Funds. I need money. I need 300,000 naira urgently. And I made it clear on what your father's instructions were. Didn't I? Please, if you don't mind. Samu, Samu. Samu, Samu, you don't, you don't, you don't wash food this morning. I beg, don't do. I don't go check you for kitchen, you know, then I make me come here. You don't go check me for kitchen? Thief. You know the shame? Don't go check me for kitchen. You chop saute, you fat past the uh, 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 guy where they bring money for the food. Nah, Yet, nah, shame not they catch you. Buy your money. No, see ya. I beg, don't be down and carry me come. This one way, your guy don't die. And these people, don't they go, go court. What you go come happen to we, all of us with the. You and who be the we? We now, who we did yet. So, you never begin to go find work? Which, which kind of which kind of work? You know? So, you never begin, you know yes, come to me and say the house. Who tell you? Ah, they did not find work. <laughs> See, if court people come, anything where they meet for this house, good dog go, human being, they go sell and join the house. family treasure, have mm -hmm. you? Hmm? Now, how were you able to pay the workers if they are counterfeiting? Number two, how have you been surviving without reference to the five million in Uncle Frank's care? I thought you said you're better than me in everything. Oh! Obviously, that does not include daylight robbery. Oh! Is this your way of admitting that I am better in what? Business, of course. Oh, yes. You dear as much as me. A finger on my daughter. I will tell you that I lived with my husband for 11 years before both of you came into this house. Christy, mm -hmm. if you were such a good companion, mm -hmm. her husband wouldn't have looked my way. <laughs> Rejoice, Esther, that I allowed you into this house. My husband waited for a good six months for my reply before he ever brought you into this house. Don't forget the day he almost threw you out of this house. <laughs> I stopped him. <laughs> now, how is that for a reply? Oh, oh, what are you doing here? Look at him. Look at him. Come back here. Come back here. Fool your plans. Now, listen. Hey. Let me tell you. Your Honor, my father, the late Chief DK Ibrahim, called me in confidence one day and asked me to manage his body and outfit. Igwebike and partners, while my younger sister managed the already established outfit, Atlantic Waves Shipping Line. Your Honor, I was going to say no, but then he went on to add that I could take over Atlantic Waves anytime I deemed fit. All he wanted was for me to keep the family flag flying by nurturing this young company into a great one like Atlantic Waves. Now this I saw as a challenge. Your Honor, back then, at um, Igwe BK and Partners was valued at 500 million naira. Today, it's on record that it is valued at 1.85 billion naira. Now, when my father passed away, I was more than ready to go on with the smaller company and let my sister manage the bigger one. But then I woke up one morning only to discover that my sister was arranging a secret meeting with the boards of Atlantic Shipping Waves. 
change the company's policy. Now, Your Honor, I am the first daughter. I am the one who should be organizing such meetings. Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. You have right to cross-examination. Please go on, counsel. Thank you, Your Honor. I, I've made my point, really. I smelt foul play. And, you know, I felt I am the first daughter and I should be the one conveying such meetings. This is why we're here. So how are we doing? Yeah, um, we're not doing badly. But I must warn, never you show overconfidence when you walk into the witness stand. All right. Good. What will I ever do without you, Greg? The question is, how would I have lived without you? <laughs> I love you. I love you, Susie. You want to know the honest truth? And what is? The thought of my lady managing a 12.57 billion naira company is quite embarrassing. Is that how you see all this? Yes, I mean, how I wish you could just shed off all those things and come to me to take proper care of you. Greg! I'm dead serious. I think I should be changing my legal counsel. <laughs> it hasn't come to that yet. I try to win all my cases in court and out of court. I'm a professional. <laughs> so, what do I say? <laughs> I must really say that people are after seeing you before in court. Now something tells me that you're going to make it. You think? Sure. Yeah, I do. I wish I could be that confident. I hate to admit it, but that Greg guy makes me nervous. He's so confident, it's intimidating. I don't like it. No, come on, baby. You got nothing to worry about, okay? I mean, GK is here to take care of me. I am. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. Mercy to all of us. Come on, Cherub. Christy. I told you before, you're on the right path. When the time comes, hmm, I will stand and be a witness for you. Auntie, oh, thank you very much, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Auntie, mm -hmm. I'm certain you need more upkeep balance. Uh, upkeep uh, <laughs> allowance. Um, well, if you say so. <laughs> Anyway, I will ask Frank to make out the sum of 300,000 Naira to you by tomorrow. Oh, Christy. May God bless Amen. you. Amen, Auntie. Thank you, my sister. <laughs> Not oh. to worry, Auntie. I know how close you were with my husband. Hmm. Vivian. You must never allow your birthright to slip away. Nikki. <laughs> yes, she's the first wife. Uh -huh. But her child is not the first. And the first daughter has a right to her father's property. When there is no son. Abi? Auntie, all you need to do is to say this in court. Any time. I have to get to the other side. Is it necessary? Hey, Esther. I've got to throw them off balance. Mommy, she has a point. Auntie, confuse them. Be very smart. Throw them off balance. Thank you, my dear. Bye-bye. <laughs> Why are we fighting each other? Trying to destroy one another Is it really worth it what we're fighting for? How can we throw away the peace, love and unity we used to know? Oh. 
what's the fuss all about? My Lord, may I put my plans on? By all means, please do. Thank you very much. Miss Susan D.K. Igwebi K. You are managing a shipping business worth 12.57 billion naira, is that true? Yes. Wouldn't you consider yourself too young to be heaped on this rather enormous burden? I won't tow your land. Why? You see, my father, who, who put together this empire in the first place, believed that I had all the qualities, I possess all the qualities to be so taxed. Why? I met first class in marine engineering, spent one year after youth service studying shipping, and I completely won my father's confidence after weeks of vigorous tests. In other words, you're telling this court that you possess the relevant qualifications. That, plus um, a business document my father confessed to his uh, personal attorney for 29 years. Now, what is this confession? My father said with a daughter like me that he didn't need a son. You know, severally, my father had um, used the expression meant for the opposite sex. Which is? A chip of the old block. That's what he called me. In other words? My father has absolute confidence in me. That is why he decided that I was the best qualified of his daughters to uh, manage Atlantic uh, Wave shipping line. Objection, Your Honor. Objection My learned friend here is skipping procedure rather characteristically. She has a right to cross-examination. Well, I will not sit back and wait for cross-examination while you laboriously mislead this court. Overruled. Please, go on, Kamsa. Thank you, my lord. Miss <laughs> Susan D.K. Gwebik, perhaps there's more you would like to tell those courts besides what you've already said about your father putting so much confidence in you. Absolutely. Please go ahead. You see, uh, my mother who is in court today is my father's first wife. You know, um, um, life has a way of playing pranks on us, forcing my dad into taking a second wife. Objection. Overruled. Please, Miss Susan, go on. Truly, unfortunately, Vivian came before me. Uh, but you see, my dad and, and my mom built this empire together. So it was obvious that um, the great man, D.K. Webuke, my, my dad, was going to leave a larger chunk of this business to my mom. And? And my daughter. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. That will be all for now. Any cross-examination? Most definitely, Your Honor. Go on. Miss Susan, now you claim, not claim. You see, everything I say here are facts. I swore by the Bible. I am a practicing Christian. Didn't your counsel educate you on legal procedure? Objection, my lord. My learned friend here is trying to intimidate my client. Counsel. You have to be meticulous about your choice of words in this noble profession. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I shall rephrase the question. Go on. Now you say, you tell this court that your father told you that you were perfect for the chairmanship of Atlantic Waves Shipping Line. Is that true? Thank you very much. I asked you a question. Oh, yes. Now, are you aware of the fact that our father asked me to take charge of the property business because he said I had the Midas touch, you know, to ensure that the business grew up to something more acceptable? Um, that will be your claim. Your Honor, I need your assistance in ensuring that this cross-examination follows due process. You must answer the question. I'm sorry, Your Honor. No. But you must be aware that he said I could take over the shipping line whenever I indicated interest. Knowing how greedy and forceful you are, I, I won't put it past that to lead you on with that, Caesar. 
You see, my dad would have made an excellent diplomat. He was a man of extreme tact. Susan, are you aware that I'm three months older than you? Of course. But you see, even your mother in court here today will attest to the fact that my mom built the empire with that that you both are trying to destroy. Your Honor, I would not tolerate this. I would not accept any more. Are you through with the witness? Who for the gifts for the money, bitch? Counsel! I mean, that was awful. Awful? Your performance in court. I know what I'm doing, all right? See, you don't know bullshit. I mean, backing at everybody and everything is not a tactic of winning a delicate case like the one we have at hand. And you're telling me that you know what you're doing. Look, in law, deliberate provocation is a tactic. It throws your opposing witness off guard. I see. See, let me tell you something. To be candid with you, you only succeeded in infuriating the jury. That was the only thing you were able to do. Well, I don't think so. Then you lack sensitivity. I was watching the judge all you. As a matter of fact, if we had spent one moment in that court, he would have humiliated you with a reprimand. Is that how you saw it? See, forget about how I see it, okay? But I want you to understand that you need a counsel. A good lawyer who is not involved. I mean, your sentimental attachment to this case is exposing your chin for a soccer punch. I'm sorry, Chiki. No, I don't stole your line. Sorry. See, whether you told my line or not, you need a quality lawyer, like I said before, to unlock the calm and efficiency of your sister's counsel. If not, we're heading for a knockout. Yes. Well, thank you very much for your lack of confidence in me. Spare me that bullshit that led to be objective. I will not. Scott! believe that your father confided in you to take over AWSL anytime you indicate interest. Exactly. Did you ever consider the fact that your sister, a proven goal-getter, possesses the right qualifications best suited for the business of shipping? Well, she's clearly under that illusion. Clearly under that illusion. My lord, if you would permit me, these are your sister's certificates. If they are real in the first place. They weren't possessed from Toronto. <laughs> These are from schools in Nigeria and I must commend your father for not towing the lines of men in his position to send his children abroad for academic pursuits. These certificates are verifiable, Miss Ibebike. They are not claims by my client. Now, how come your father's confidence in you to take over from one who is evidently more qualified to handle a 12.57 billion naira shipping business? Objection. You are only a witness, Miss Igwebike. And a cancer. Your Honor, my learned colleague here is being rather suggestive. I only asked an obvious question. Which I object to. Which I overrule. I'm still waiting for your answer. Because obviously one with your training as a lawyer lacks the ability to match, let alone surpass your sister's knowledge in the business of shipping. For this, your father's confidence in you to take over AWSL anytime you indicate interest. Objection! Objection overruled. I am the first daughter for Christ's sake. My Lord, that's wrong. You may step down. Now, use of this thing. Oh, yeah. Can't use when I hear good news. If you see what happened for court yesterday, you go court. Argument. Argument upon argument. As Vivian, they fire from this side. Now, so Susan lawyer, they fire from this side. They fire, they fire, they fire. Argument, argument, argument. Then they argue who go carry Ogawa property. Now, in the magistrate, old man, God, enter ahead. 
wise man. Come view the case. Think him. Think him. He said, where your son? They said, Ogano get son. He said, no. Woman not inherit property. So now I can say, since me, I be man, and I mean not the work for God since, the whole property now, I mean you can't get him. Who help me thank God? But Simon, you know, say you be big liar. Cheap liar. Oga get to picking. Eh? Now how you call carry all the property now? Where, where, Oga get picking? Where are they? Where are they? Those two ladies. Vivian or Susanna, what will they be? Asa. Eh? So, best way, bomb game, go there, have you seen more picking? No, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't be picking. As you do like this now, if they say, picking, raise up your hand, you will follow this. And I not. If they breathe, it means they breathe. I be. <laughs> See, even for Bible, uh -huh. God write on for Bible. That's when Jesus Christ feed many people. Say, so Jesus Christ feed 5,000 men. Aside women and children, they don't even bother to count those of God. They don't count. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't qualify. You give for. You give for court. Where? 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 They talk that I do not just. If I don't go, confess it. Not other. You don't go. Read your Bible. Finish. Eh? Go inside. Go sleep. Where? I get work. Where? You get work. Where they do? Just go do that work because our last work now they do so. I don't know who do you. Enemies of progress. Anyone just can't come outside. Say they can't participate. No problem. Go and go. Now, now. In fact, you have just lost your job. Come on now, relax. This is hardly any time to scrap a quarrel. I am not trying to scrap a quarrel. See, all I suggested was for an extra hand. I mean, to guarantee Susan's in court, that's all. Chike, do you understand that Greg is Susan's fiancé? I will not openly admit to fear by hiring another lawyer to stand in for me. I mean, but... No but! Look, I am ready to lose the case. But I will not show weakness. Not even for a second. I understand, but if that's the way you feel about it. That's exactly how I feel about it. Look, I need to ease up a bit. I want to play a game of tennis. Are you game? You couldn't have asked for anything more appropriate. Just take me to the hotel and back. Good. Let me get the card. I'm here waiting for you. For. Can't you say I'm here to play? So? So gather your stuff and get out. Just who do you think you are, Vivian? Hey. Your older sister. Older sister, my foot. Damn you. You think this is law court? Meaning? Meaning you should ask a girl to get out the arena. Hey! No, 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 no. no. Stay no. out of this! No! This is between my sister and I. If you both can't wait for us to finish, you can go jump into the lake. Come back here! Look, can you imagine? Man, who the hell do you think you are? It, it's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Let her have the court. And the real court of law will have our side. Okay? Whatever bounds. Why are we fighting each other? Trying to destroy one another. Is it really worth it? We're fighting you think it was false to me that your husband promised you that he was going to hand over a large chunk of his business empire to your daughter Vivian? I have said so. It would please me and this honorable court if we could hear that again. Yes. On what premise? Ask the first daughter if it means anything to you. 
Oh, of course it does mean something to me. But does the fact that his other daughter, Susan, is adequately trained to handle and manage this large chunk of the business empire also mean anything to you? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is digressing. My lord, I'm only asking questions that would accelerate our pace. I understand you want this done and over with. Speedy. Yes, objection overruled. Go on. Thank you, my lord. Are you aware of that? Are you also aware that this same Susan is the daughter of your husband's first wife? Now, this business you and your daughter fight for with fangs and claws, are you aware that it was founded and set up by your late husband and his first wife? Objection, Your Honor. The issue here is not who founded the business, but about obeying a dead man's wish. Objection overruled. <sighs> My lord, I want answers to these questions, if I'm going to get anywhere. You answer the question. Or are you willing to disobey his lordship? Those were mere claims. You were not there. I put it to you that your game plan is to frustrate this young woman into relinquishing a conglomerate thrust into her by a very brave father. Objection. I also put it to you that you knew you were losing out. If not, you would have waited for this man's will to be read. Objection. Then why hurry to the courts when this man's will is yet to be read? Objection. The road. Any more questions for him? For her? You may step down. That you were there. Not claim, young woman. Witness, I will not remind you to be cautious anymore in this court. Thank you, Your Lordship. You want this court to believe you were there when AWSL was formed? I am not here. Yes or no? Objection! Objection overruled. Yes or no? Yes. Now, why aren't you one of the directors of the company? I was there in Germany with my husband. When the deal was signed between my husband and the foreign partners. Still doesn't answer my question. I am coming to that. As I waited for hours in the hotel, solely for my husband, I started disliking business. My husband, as smart as he was, noticed and sought for my candid opinion. There in Germany, I asked him to remove my name from the director's list. Why? Why? Yes, I'd like to know, and I'm sure this honorable court would like to know. <sighs> well, throughout my life, right from my childhood, I have always lost money whenever I venture into any business. I know how long it took us to give birth to AWSL. For it to be successful, I had to ask my husband to remove my name from the director's list. In other words, you had absolutely nothing to contribute? Objection, my lord. You see, that last question was quite irrelevant. My learned colleague There's my position to determine that in this court. Objection overruled. Please continue. Thank you, Your Honor. You have absolutely nothing 
to contribute? Financially, no. But every other thing... That's enough. So, how come you had nothing to contribute and yet claim to have built the empire with your husband? Objection overruled. I need an answer. I was there in Germany with my husband when the deal was signed. For a second honeymoon, perhaps? Well, here is your chance. What do you mean by that? No, of course you know I did, never meant it that way. Oh well, yes, you did. No, I did not. You did. I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. You did. I did not. You did. I never did. Yes, stop it. You I did. I never did. You did. Okay, if you feel I did, let's just get married tomorrow, okay? <laughs> what? You can actually be romantic when you put your mind to it. I am always romantic because I put my mind to it. Can I say you're romantic? I'm not romantic. <laughs> okay, let's see. Get married to me. Let's get married to me. You know, I need to just place a phone call to everybody. Who do your mother? Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> you are not ashamed. Taking your friend and client's wife to bed barely six months after his demise. Hmm. Is that supposed to be your next submission in court? Well, if you do not desist from taking sides with Christy to perpetually steal from the company under her case, then yes, that might as well be my next submission. Hmm. And as for sitting on the family, Upkeep funds. You can sit on it for the rest of your short life for all I care. Could you please tell this court who you are? I am Mrs. Ego Omobiko. What is your relationship with Chief D.K. D.K. was my younger brother. And I am his only living blood relation. Trust Now what do you have to tell this court about this current case in question? It's very painful. Painful in the sense that a minor disagreement could degenerate to this level. Well, unfortunately, it has come to that. Could you please make things right by telling this court the truth and nothing but the truth of it all? Yes. Um, you see, Christine is the first wife and by extension should be the head of the family. Uh, uh, Vivian is also the first daughter and I think she should be able to exert some control. So in your own opinion which party do you think is right in this case at hand? Well, that's why we're in court. I think the court should determine that. My Lord, I have no further use for this case. Very well. Counsel, any cross-examination? Okay. You may step down. Thank you. Mr. Ofokansi. Sir. You swore by the Holy Bible to tell this court the truth and nothing but the truth. Yes. 
So why did you not tell this court how much you were paid to stand there to attempt to mislead it? Objection, Your Honor. My learned colleague here is being rather overly presumptuous. My lord. Your Honor, a lawyer at no point in time should be abusive to an adverse witness by asking questions intended to insult him and degrade him. That's perfectly correct. My lord, a lawyer should not participate in a bargain, either by contingent fee or otherwise as a condition of his giving evidence. Equally correct. But it does not preclude the payment of reasonable and non-contingent compensation for actual loss of time and expenses of persons who cannot afford to attend. Exactly, Your Honor. My lord, I am fully aware that this man standing here was paid a whooping sum to give false evidence in this court. Mr. Iwoji, the name of the game is proof. My lord, permits me to give my learned colleague here all the proof she needs. Please get the proof, but be succinct about it. Thank you, my lord. I'll do just that. Mr. Ofokansi. Sir. You are happily married with four children. Now, none of them will see you for a very long time if you do not tell this court the truth right now. Your Honor, he is threatening the witness. My Lord, you see, at the same time, what I'm trying to do is... Uh, get your proof. Let me suck it about it. My Lord, I'll do just that. Mr. Ofokansi, I want you to tell this court how much you were paid. Uh, yes, you are about to say something. I have not spent the money. How much are we talking about here? A hundred thousand naira. Sunday, Sunday, Christian pastor? Uh, not quite. But I've not seen you for a while now. In fact, I've not seen much of your family since your father's demise. Actually, pastor, that's why I'm here. You see, there's a problem and um, I need advice. I believe the best advice can only come from the word of God. Sure. My sister and I are in court. In court? Over what? Over my father's companies. No, 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 tell me it's not true. It is true, Pastor. In fact, it, it has blown up so big that it's almost as if it's about to consume me. I can't even remember how we got here. I just don't want my family to be torn apart over this. You see, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3 says we should endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. That is a serious statement. There is a unity of peace. And when this uh, unity is breached, trouble sets in. The scripture says that how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in peace. Your father left enough words to go around. And after you've shared, you still have enough for your entire lifetime. 
how rich you are is not a factor of how much you have, but how much you are willing to give away. This might sound foolish, but that is God's wisdom. You will have to call your sister. Apologize to her. Tell her to choose whatever she wants. And I tell you, she will not. When one party refuses to fight, there is nothing the other party can do. Refuse to fight. And I'm sure God will give you the grace. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, we want to thank you because indeed you are our God. Why are we fighting each other? Trying to destroy one another. Isn't all worth it? We're fighting, we're fighting for. Sometimes old men sing their daughters to sleep. <laughs> hey, Daddy, yes. about the Queen of the Red Seas. Um, Which was... one is the Queen of the Red Seas? That is the ship that left from Kuchelu. Susan, I did not come here to discuss business. Come, sit down here. I worry about life after death. Life after death? Yes. <laughs> but Daddy, you know what the Bible says about life after death. You don't need to worry about no. it. We yeah. should leave the Bible out of this. Susan, no matter how sure you are of what you are going to meet on the other side of life, what one leaves behind becomes a concern to every good person. You speak in radio, Stanley. Yes. Uh, where we come from, riddles are ways old men express themselves. There is a saying in our place that riddles and proverbs are the oil with which words are eaten. So, where are you heading with this? Susan, a good life is not the one lived in wealth and affluence. Success is not complete unless you have a successor. Daddy, you have successors. Oh yes, I worry about you. I really worry about your people. Will you ever have cause to worry? Why are we talking about you leaving, Daddy? You're really scaring me with this. Susan, when you plan for life, you also plan for death. Because it, it comes in like a thief at night. Remember? Hey, <laughs> Daddy, I thought you said we should leave religion out of this. Yes, but um, it means opening your ears and your eyes at all times. Daddy, I don't want to talk about that. Because you have not asked for permission from me yet. And when you do, the answer is no. No, but in case anything happens to me at any time, you must join hands with other members of the family to put all of them under one umbrella. Daddy, you know we will always do that. Yes, but it is the continuation that worries me. Because as soon as the one that holds the umbrella bows out, 
Something is bound to happen. I wish I had seen it. He was trying to tell me this was going to happen. But I didn't listen. He knew there was going to be trouble. Daddy, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I, I wish I had listened to the voice of your spirit. But, um, I'm going to do right by you, Daddy. She's not there, that's where I'm coming from. Samuel, uh, have you seen Vivian? Who? Vivian, have you seen her? Ah. Auntie, uh, even if I know where she is, I'm not sure I will tell you. What is the meaning of that? Because if, if you never tire me, I don't tire. I don't tire to what recommend for this house. Every, every day, she's a guy that helps me fight, 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 fight. Waiting. I mean, I'm tired too. That's that's why I'm looking for her. Uh, Do you know where she is? Uh, I think we should sort out this whole mess by ourselves. Starting from you, Anna. <coughs> Viv, all this trouble, is it really worth it? Talk about it if you don't want to, right?
woman that speaks for her husband. My husband. I thought you have decided that Esther will warm your bed tonight. Oh, not without your permission. I hope I have not disrupted your communication with your creator. Not in the least. In fact, you are always the starting point of my prayers. I was at the point of saying, lead us not into temptation when you walk. <laughs> Woman, you have not said what is on your mind. Eh? Don't you know that when we grow old, temptation avoids us? Who is talking of old age? I, 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 am, I am over 61, and I'm nearer my ancestors than my friends. Darling, please stop talking like this. As long as I live, you will never grow old. In togetherness, you will live. <laughs> of course, yes. And God has given you a very long time. Mm, my dear, nobody lives in his mind. Well, I was thinking of... No thinking. When there is so much on one's mind, the body takes back seat. Sleep well, my dear. <laughs> Good night, my husband. <laughs> Yes? What is it? What do you want? Peace. Isn't that rather too late now? Even though DK is no more, the perceptiveness of his actions have laid a serious burden on my shoulders. So, how can I help you? Do I look like I care? Esther, I owe you an apology. And I want you to find it in your heart to forgive me. The enmity between both of us would affect our children. I wish I had listened to you. Forgive me. We heard that you were all ready to kill yourselves in court. So the king's men of uh, Lady Dike met and sent us over. I am Mazi Chizoba, his cousin. And this is Okoli, a DK's late brother's son. And this is Mazi Wanfu, a relation also. As if we do not know. Because you are all women, it is quite clear you do not understand tradition. What wow. tradition? Okay, let me explain to you. Assuming our late brother, DK, had a son, our mission to this place wouldn't have been necessary. That is true. Um, since Chief Dike did not leave, leave her son behind. Um, um, what? Can't you understand? Women do not inherit where there are brothers, cousins, and uncles alive. Uh, what did you just say? You heard me right. Look, just listen. You are all battling and killing yourselves in vain. Okoli here, who is his late brother's son. Tradition permits him to inherit his property. Am I clear?
You have to bury me a second time before that can happen. Frank, sit down. Get out! Get out of my house! Go back to the village! Tell them I am back and alive! Just get out! Yes! Frank, so you followed us to the village to go and bury a man whom you know has been alive all this while. He did not know anything about this. He did not know. He was out of the picture for close to three months. How I was rescued by the community where that plane crashed to me up to today is a mystery. It's miraculous that even the airline did not know that I had survived. I have been unconscious for 52 days. 52 days I was unconscious. And when I regained consciousness, I was very confused because I thought at that time that my family would think that I was already dead. I could not call any of you. Then, then I remembered Frank. And I called Frank only to get the rude shocker of my life by your behavior. I started monitoring all proceedings. And later on, I realized that I was not as good a judge of character that I thought I was. Because all of you, all of you had grossly disappointed me. you my sister my sister you disappointed me how would I forgive you how you who I taught will take care of my family you were the one just to grab him grab him for yourself do you know what the Lord mostly regards as sin? The selfishness. Yes, selfishness. Because it leads to other sins. You need to ask God for forgiveness. Susan, or mommy, or anybody else. It was all my fault. I, I engineered this whole thing. I started it. And I'm sorry. I've been a very bad girl, and, and I deserve to be punished, but I don't care, Daddy. Nothing is greater than the joy I feel right now knowing you're alive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Daddy.
forgive you.